Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Health Forensics and we're here to talk about transmitting utility meters and their effects on plants, particularly regarding distance from the transmitting utility meters. Now, if you look at this arrangement of plants, this is the arrangement that they were growing in. And this plant right here was the closest to the transmitting utility meters. And you can clearly see that it's the most retarded, except for the one that is here, which actually died. And we're gonna to get to that later. It had a little bit of a different exposure that caused the plant death. But you can clearly see that this plant was the furthest away from the transmitting utility meters and it has the most vigorous growth. So it's quite clear that regarding the toxicity of radio frequency exposure, that the toxicity tails off with distance and the closer you are to it, the more toxic it is. So let's start with the closest plant. Now this plant was grown about 25 feet from a bank of transmitting utility meters. And you can see it's got the, the shiny leaves, very typical of radio frequency exposure in plants. It's very spindly and it does not look like a Diefenbachia. A Diefenbachia typically has leaves the size of your hand. And they're certainly not the size of your hand, the miniature leaves. The Typically heavily patterned on the diaper back here, and I don't see any evidence of patterning at all in these leaves. And the diaper back here leaves normally are dull, they're very dull, so they don't reflect light like these ones. So let's go down the line on this row because this one here was 10 feet away from this one, and this one was in the middle. So Let's see what's going on with this one. So still got the very small shiny leaves and very, very comparable to this. It looks a little bit better. I, there's not a lot between these two, but it's quite clear that between these two, there's a big difference. And that big difference is the vigorous growth. And also that this one has one of its original leaves. So, there's the evidence that these are Diefenbachias. So the Diefenbachia has large leaves, typically the size of your hand, with heavy patterning, and they are dull. They're not shiny. So there's the last of the original leaves, and it's put up all these miniature radio frequency exposed leaves, and they're very, very shiny. But the growth is much more vigorous, so being 10 feet further away made a significant difference on this row of plants. There's absolutely no doubts about that. So let's go up this row of plants. So this was the closest one to the radio frequency transmitting utility meters. It has the worst growth. The only one that is worse is this one. So this one is dead. That's the only reason why this one is worse. And the reason why it appeared to die was the location that this one was grown in. It was very shady. It was very dark. There was no window next to where this plant was. And the combination of the radio frequency exposure plus the lack of light appeared to kill the plant. And that's a factor that I identified when I was characterizing the biological harm of radio frequency on biological organisms that bright light offsets some of the radio frequency damage. So this did not get bright light and it died. So it had two factors to deal with. So it's not too surprising to see that it actually died. But by far the best plant is this one. And I should say that this distance from here to here was 13 feet approximately. So this one was the furthest plant away from the transmitting utility meters. And you can clearly see that it's by far the best plant. And it's actually got some of the patterning in the leaves. So you can clearly see that this is a miniature diaper back here, but that the leaf is tiny. So it's the biggest leaf out of the bunch, but they're very, very small leaves. And the thing you'll notice is the shininess 
has disappeared. So the leaves are no longer the very shiny glossy leaves that we had earlier. And here's one of the original leaves. So you can see that these leaves were much bigger when it came into the house and that they had the patterning. And these were young plants. These were very young, probably some of the youngest plants I've purchased for doing experiments on. And for that reason, the, the leaves don't actually fill your hand. Normally the Dacrobachia would fill the hand with a single leaf. So that is by far the best plant, gave by far the best growth. And it was the one that was furthest away from the transmitting utility meters. So it's quite clear that distance mat matters when it comes to radio frequency exposure. And if you want to reduce the exposure from a toxic radio frequency device, the best thing you can do is get as far away from it as you can. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.